Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, today is the last day of Cowboys minicamp. This is the break until training camp starts. We don't know the exact date of when it's going to start, but somewhere between the 20th and the, say, 28th of July. That's six weeks away. Not a whole lot of time. And this morning, we've got some bad news. Bad news, bad news and okay news. Um, here's the thing I will say about the Dallas Cowboys typically. When we get injury news, we get the best case scenario which is usually they'll say, oh, you know, or we're not going to put Dak Prescott in, on injured reserve because he could be back in four weeks from a broken thumb, uh, broken in three places. Um, when we heard about Michael Gallup, we heard that, you know, he, he'll be ready to go, you know, by the end of training camp, and it was literally weeks in. When the Canadian bulldozer hyperextended his elbow, they said about three or four weeks, and he only played about three or four weeks that season because of the hyperextended elbow. And the Cowboys have four players that are coming back from ACL injuries. Now, ACL injuries aren't what they were when I went and played football and things. Um, believe it or not, people will call me a liar, but when I played high school football, the very last scrimmage that we played – in the fourth quarter, I tore my ACL. And this was kind of the infancy of doing the scopes. They scoped my knee, and they literally just cleaned it up. I tore it complete rupture, and they just cut it basically off and said, hopefully your thigh and your calf muscles and your tendons will be able to hold it back together. I missed four games that season and played six without an ACL. And to this day, I still do not have an ACL in my knee. Otherwise, they used to basically cut your knee open and you'd have about a 10 inch scar that would take years to heal, if ever. And those were career enders. Diggs tore his ACL in practice after week two and has been out. Now, we can look at this towards Michael Gallup, who's never the same after he came back from his injury. Um, but the difference was Michael Gallup tore his in January, as opposed to Diggs doing his back in September. So there's more time to heal. The bad news is he may not be ready to start a training camp. And the question you have to ask is, is this the Cowboys giving you the best case scenario where he may not be ready to start the season? Um, it wouldn't be the first time we've been kind of, you know, given the best case scenario and it doesn't work out. Um, Diggs is, and this is the exact quote from the Dallas Morning News. Diggs is progressing well in his return from knee injury that abruptly ended his 2023 season. That doesn't mean he'll be ready for the start of camp. Maybe Diggs told Dallas Morning News this week, maybe not, but I'm feeling comfortable. I feel good. The Cowboys quarterback missed all but two games with an ACL tear that he suffered during week three practice. Uh, while optimism surrounds his outlook for the September 8th opener against the Cleveland Brown, there seems to be a decent chance he won't be cleared for practice when training camp starts next month. Ah, oh, boy. Other ACL news. Linebacker DeMarvis Overshown and tight end John Stevens were sidelines August 19th during a preseason game against the Seahawks. Wide receiver David Durden became the third rookie in five days to tear a ligament when practicing uh, on August at Ford Field Center. You have to wonder, is this something that is uh, Ford Field related? Um, you know, I don't know. They went from, of course, training camp out in Oxnard to then coming back and working out. And, you know, all of a sudden you have a rash of uh, ACL injuries. Um, Overshone is looking really good and he shouldn't have any problems getting started. Uh, tight end John Stevens, same thing. He looks like he's ready to go as well. So here's where, this is where you have to start thinking about this now. Um, 
if Diggs comes back and he's 100%, we're great. We'll be incredible with him, Bland, and the rest of our back end. If he is on the Michael Gallup plan, because here's the thing you have to worry about is, are they going to be rushing him back? Is he going to be rushing back and he's not really there? Your mentality as a football player is, I can always go. And you always worry about somebody taking your place. In which case, a lot of times you're out on the field when maybe you're not the best option. This is where the Cowboys maybe want to revisit the Stephon Gilmore spot. Um, I've heard rumors that Mike Zimmer is not too in on the idea of Stephon Gilmore for whatever reason. But I look at it this way, you know, when you hear about the teams that have been interested in him uh, from New England, going back there, you know they're rebuilding. Carolina, which has been rebuilding since they lost the Super Bowl, to Denver. Um, Playing with the Cowboys, again, may be a better option. You may have a better chance at winning. Um, I want to say there was one other team that was interested. It might have been the Seattle Seahawks. But thus far, nobody has done anything with them. That is a veteran that you may want to bring back just in case because then that will enable you to not put the pressure on Diggs to be there right away and to really make sure that he's healed because I'm going to say that the rushing of getting Michael Gallup from the Cowboys and probably himself too when we started out literally the season because here's, here's where the Cowboys screw the pooch sometimes. They literally started the season with CeeDee Lamb being the only wide receiver that had ever caught a touchdown pass. And so you had Noah Brown, and I can't even remember the word salads of of players that we had that were starting. Uh, Dennis Houston and things. Um, It was kind of crazy. And so you're Michael Gallup, and you're saying to yourself, I need to get back on the field because I just signed this contract, and my team needs me because there's no experience out there. And I feel like because he was literally on one leg, he completely lost his confidence that he never got back. And that's the last thing you want to have happen to Diggs is that you rush him out there, you get a setback, he's not ready, and loses confidence. So this is where the Cowboys may need to revisit Stephon Gilmore. All right, good people. That's the first update this morning that just came across here just uh, 10 minutes ago. And uh, I wanted to bring